this part we're going to actually focus on animating the helicopter itself. So how you do that, it's really simple. For this I'm just going to rotate it. I, I mean I'm just going to animate uh, the rotor, not the whole helicopter. If you want to do that, that's like the same thing. Then. So just press, yeah it's already on auto key so it just keyed it for me. If you want to do auto key just press that. I'm just going to go ahead like 20 frames, 21 frames I guess, and uh, rotate it. You want to rotate it, if, the more you rotate it, the faster obviously they're going to go, depending on how far away the keys are. Alright, I think that's good enough. And then it has a little bit of, um, it might have a little bit of a, like, it starts off slow and then it goes faster. And to do that, and to fix that, you just want to go into the, uh, the graph editor and press T and then select linear. And that way it's completely uh, constant. <coughs> and so, uh, yeah, that's that part. I'm just going to get into a little bit of uh, compositing for motion blur. Uh, so that it looks more realistic, it's not just like spinning rotors. And so just go from default. Uh, wait, I actually have to set up, before you do this, you want to set up a vector uh, pass, or else it won't work. So just go into compositing, use nodes, backdrop, um, and then shift A. Add a uh, filter, under filter, vector blur. And so then connect. Yeah, that actually did it for me. Uh, then connect the uh, Z to the Z here. Whoops. And then connect the speed to this speed. Um, and then I'm just going to create a viewer node so I can actually see what I'm doing. I'll put viewer and uh, so and then uh, I'm gonna create two and then just hit F12 to render. <clears throat> it should work. See, and then it has some motion blur. The more you want, the you just turn this up amount, and that's basically uh, how you do it. Then, if you're if you're like me and you like putting it into actual live footage, the way you're gonna want to um, uh, export it is either you could do PNG sequence, but if your editor can't or your compositor can't import. Um, image sequences, you can change this to QuickTime, but, and try, always make sure it's on RGBA, that way it can preserve the alpha channels, but it won't when it's on QuickTime, unless you change it to something that actually can preserve alpha channels, which JPEG can't, JPEG can't, but PNG can. Alright, and then put it wherever you want in your folder. Uh, I like to add ambient occlusion. Um, and everything, but you can decide what you want to do. Alright, bye.